These are the United States of America. With an estimated amount of 340 million citizens, they're the third biggest country in the world, taking up 42% of the global art market share by generating $21.3 billion in 2020. This is the state of New York. With an estimated amount of 20 million citizens, it's home to the most densely populated city in the US, with the same name, New York City. New York historically brought all kinds of artists to light, such as Keith Haring, who's best known for his activistic pop art, Jean-Michel Basquiat and his unique scribbled style, Richard Prince, who's considered to be a pioneer of appropriation art, and Willem de Kooning, with his work in abstract expressionism. It therefore comes to no surprise that in 1872, a group of Americans started a gallery at 681 Fifth Avenue. However, the exhibition at this former private residence wasn't enough soon later, which led them to move their exhibition in 1873, a few blocks away, to the Douglas Mansion at 128 West 14th Street. This move? again, turned out to be only of temporary nature, as they did a final move to a new building in 1880. They opened their new quarters near Central Park, which this time turned out to be their permanent location, and grew into what was going to be the biggest art museum in the US, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, or short, the Met. Now, in 2023, the Met consists of a 2 million square foot building showcasing 1.5 million objects going back up to thousands of years BCE, to over 3.2 million visitors from all over the world in 2022. In 2024, the Met will act as a presentation space for the Atlante de la Arte Contemporánea, the oldest annual art book going back to 1940. With its 1,000 folders of artists and 1,600 auction results, it's a piece of history no gallery owner or collector should be missing. Needless to say, it is an absolute honor for us, QK Art Science, to be included in this historic book in the next version. So do stay tuned for the upcoming journey of QK Art Science. <laughs>